Hello, I'm DIY Bronwyn, and this is my channel, DIY Bronwyn, and I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Today, I'm not doing a DIY. Um, you can see my other little DIY here, though. My wall, I guess you can't see my hand. I'm no Vanna White, but it's this wall. It's this wall here. <laughs> Anyways, I have a microphone. I hope you can hear me better. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's actually pretty good. Um, okay, I'm here today, like I said, not for a DIY, as usual anymore. Um, I'm just freaking out because I cannot believe that this situation is happening in our world where a girl who is an Olympic swi a sw a swimmer or a competitive swimmer, I should say, was trying to say she only wanted to compete with other biological women because she felt that um, I think it's Leah Thompson and people like Leah Thompson that were trans female athletes had too much of an advantage. They were bigger, they were stronger, they were more powerful, they had bigger muscles, they have more uh, bone density, they, they just have more of everything. Like, they're just built different. Like, I don't know why people want to say, no, they're not, we're all the same. No, we're freaking not. We really, really are not the same. Anybody that wants to say that just wants to like erase the, the difference. You want everybody to be androgynous and we're not. We're not all pansexual. We're not androgynous. We're not crazy. And not that you guys are. It's just we're not all these other things all of a sudden. This new, you know, trans epidemic is, is what I'm calling it, is, is gone crazy. They basically are so mad because she said she just wanted to compete with just women that were biological women and not trans women because it was like i said too much of an advantage got her chased down a hallway and punched punched by a man wearing a dress uh, don't know what you know sexual identity and don't really care and what's with you got to announce your sexual identity or your pronouns before you even meet anybody I don't care what you do in your bedroom. It's none of my fucking business. I don't walk in and say, hi, I'm Hetero Bronwyn. I just walk in and I say, hi, I'm Bronwyn. Or I'm DIY Bronwyn. Whatever. Anyways, guys, we've got to do something. The women, we've got to unite. We've got to help and uh, help Riley and stand up for other women like Riley and tell her that we're on her side. Women and girls unite. We need to get together. We have to make this work. The trans community is going down in tubes. The LGBTQ is actually going down in, in flames uh, because of what's going down now. You're, you're, you're fighting a war you really don't want. We are all loving of our kids. Doesn't matter if you're trans, if you're gay, if you're straight or you're bi. If you're a parent, you love your family, you love your kids. We do. We raised you to be, you know, a girl and you grow up and you don't feel like you're a girl and you want to be a boy. Fine. After therapy and years and years of therapy, hopefully, then, you know, maybe you'll figure out that you're not really or you, you really are trans. And then you go through with that and you make the next steps after that. Surgeries are not always a good idea. Sometimes you need the some surgeries, facial or the breasts or whatnot. But sometimes the bottom surgery, not so much because it's very invasive. It's very involved. And a lot of people have had a lot of complications and it never has worked right for them ever since. So, you know, like there's there's so much going on right now. And I have a trans daughter-in-law. I, I have no problem with the LGBTQ community whatsoever. Like at all. I have a trans daughter-in-law. <laughs> even she says, well, what the fuck is going on? And she doesn't even swear. She doesn't understand either. And none of us do why you want to just kind of be us instead of wanting to join and be part of womanhood you want to take over womanhood and be the best at womanhood and we're the best women that ever were us drag queens blah 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 whatever gay lesbian trans gay lgbt blah, blah, blah. i'm sorry i don't remember all of them sometimes i feel like justin trudeau the dick anyways um god and that's another thing so so now we have drag shows in front of little children where I, I saw an, an ass laser tag show. An ass laser tag show. They had those little, you know those laser pointers? They had them shoved up their asses, had no pants on because the laser tag was shining through from their butt to the other person's butt. It was butt laser tag. I shit you not. Look it up on YouTube. It's there. 
I mean, the, the stuff that's happening, the depravity that's going on right now, the stuff they're willing to do in front of children and the parents are not standing up and saying, no, it's just beyond me. And, and stop coming out to your children if you're a, a trans or gay or lesbian teacher. When I was a kid, we had gay and, and uh, you know, gay and lesbian teachers too, but we didn't talk about it. It was none of our damn business what my teacher did on his downtime. And then it's none of anybody's business for you to come in and start saying that, you know, oh, hey, I have a puppet I want you to meet and this diversity bullshit. I want you to sit down with my puppet and he's going to talk about, or no, they're going to talk about pronouns. And you have pronouns. Everybody has pronouns. No, they're introducing this pronoun bullshit because they want to introduce a different actual gender thing that they believe in, which is that there's more than just two genders. There's at least three, maybe four, according to them. And then there's some people who are gender fluid that they say, oh, I went to bed as a girl, I woke up as a boy. Like, come on, like, come on. That is not biologic. Biological women can compete with biological women. Uh, biological men with biological men. Trans and gay are different. They just are. It's not the same. Trans men can't compete with men. They would get the floor wiped with them too. This is not about hating someone because of their sexuality. This is because we are actually different. And you guys are trying to be like, no, you're trying to gatekeep being women. No, we're trying to gatekeep getting our asses kicked by a man. Like, are you kidding? Men went to war. Men are stronger, tougher. They, they're so much, they're resilient. There are a lot of things, but you know what? So are we, but we're not necessarily men. And there's no, we don't have to get mad about it. It's just the way that it is. It's just a fucking fact. I heard somebody, I think it was Ben Cooper, love him, no, Ben Shapiro. He's uh, Brett Cooper, I love him, Ben Shapiro. I got him screwed up. It's like their brother and sister in my head. <laughs> but I, I love them. I like the way that they're very upfront with their feelings. And I, I get how they're saying it. And women, you know, we need to protect women. We need to, to nurture our, our family of women. We want to stick together as sisters. And right now, there's like trans women hating like biologic women just because we were born biologic women. Like that is just hate. It's just hate. Hate, 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 hate. There's race hate. There's, there's sex hate. There's, you know, there's just so much hate in this world. We've got to stop. Then there's, then there's like the abortions. Like people are just, you know, like they, they don't mind if it's in the third trimester. Like that's just mean and ghoulish. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You're killing a baby. Anyways. And, and then, then there's the, you can't raise children to have no sexual identity. A, a boy is born and a girl is born. They're born. They're born with their sexual organs. You can't deny biology, but they are. They're denying biology. They're saying that, oh, we can make um, a baby without a man now. We don't even need a man. Well, why would you do that? Why would you think that you're God? You can take over now and you're just gonna start making babies and somebody's, you know, bone, you know, DNA, whatever. Like, it's just absolute bullshit. But the worst thing that I saw was when that girl had to run for her life up a hallway after being punched a couple times by a grown man. A grown man. I'm sick. I'm fed up. I'm not going to take it anymore. And I'm not the only woman. So let us roar, women. Let us stand together, all of us. Let's all make videos. Let's all stand together. Let's make a rally. Let's do a protest. Let's do whatever we can think of to help and to support women and girls because girls and women they're just getting hammered everywhere in society it's if you're not gay trans or some gender fluid binary blah blah then you know you're not popular you're not cool you're not hip and that's not right this is supposed to be something you're born with remember born this way well then if you're born that way then you, you should understand that you, you feel that way but your body was born as it was meant to be from god i know you're i'm going to catch hate for that but you were born with a penis or you were born with a vagina some people there's intersex but that's so rare and you want to do, do your whole essence of your whole theory of being based on that one thing that sometimes there's two sexes you are not intersex you feel that you are a different sex there's a difference that's dysphoria that's when you have therapy for years and years and years but no they don't do that now they're just like hey 
I'm a woman. I, don't, I still have a penis and, and uh, I don't have any breasts and, and I have a beard, but it's okay. I'm a woman. It's like, no, come on. You can't keep doing this to people. And us women, we don't, we don't deserve this. We've had to fight and claw for everything we've got in life. And, it, you know, and same, same with the blacks. They've had to fight and claw for everything they got in life. But like, look how things have changed. And things have changed so much for the trans and gay community. And then you did this. You just like declared war on heteros. So like, you know, <laughs> I think that we should declare war on you. See how you fucking like it. Would you like that? I don't think you would like that. And you know what? I don't really care. We are heteros. I was born this way. I'm proud to be a woman. And being a woman isn't about hairdos, makeup, um, you know, all, all that. Those are just accoutrements. That's just something that comes along with being a woman that we also like. We are also geologists. We are also astronauts. We are also physicists. We are also teachers. We are also crazy zealot professors. We are all kinds of things. And I, I'm finding that mostly it's a lot of these fat white bitches that have the most to gripe about. And, and they're the ones that are the teachers sitting down and telling the kids what they need to think in those classrooms. Like, those are the ones I'm having a problem with. And then they get in, in these, you know, militant violence, you know, struggles with protesting in crowds and stuff just because... They want their voices heard and they want they want abortions and they want to be called female if they're male they want to be called male if they're female and everybody's just fighting and clawing and beating on everybody else and this isn't going to go anywhere but in a bad way and in <laughs> hell in a handbasket and fucking fast um I, I i this is already too long but i just wanted to come on and say women come on we've got to we've got to get like rally together let's figure this out doesn't mean we're against trans or gays either. It just means we have to stand up as women for women because nobody else is going to and we're not just going to polite our way out like out of this situation. We already corrected ourselves into this situation. Nobody was strong enough to say, hey, hold on, wait a minute. Well, now I have to say it and I know there's a bunch of people that are saying it and we have to keep saying it and you guys have to say it. We all have to write our congressmen, write our politicians. We don't have congressmen in Canada. I don't care. Write your congressmen if you're in, in the United States about it. That's your thing. Here, we'll, we'll write to our politicians, and we should. And they're making laws that we cannot stand and say, we don't want you to have your pecker uh, in, in a G-string in front of a toddler, and we're not allowed to say, hey, we don't want, you know, drag shows. I wasn't, a, I wasn't over there protesting about it, but when you tell people that they're not allowed to protest, that's just bullshit. Because we don't have to agree, but you don't have the right to tell me how to feel either. We are not going to just be silenced by the rest of the culture now. Just because you're deciding you're all popular and important and special and you mean more than everybody else, because that's what it seems like. You just want to be better than everybody else. That's what it's coming across like. It's like you think it's funny that you won as a trans female. You, you thought it was funny when you took the gold. It, like, it's not It's not funny. You guys are just screwing around and, and t you're just basically, if there's patriarchy and matriarchy, this is patriarchy in a dress. And now you're just taking over in another way. It's still you doing your shit to women, which is what we never wanted. We've always had our own thing. And now you want to be in that thing too. You, you want to be us too. You, you can't just let us even have our own womanhood. Now you guys want that. You want, like, you want it all. Well, guess what? Everybody has to fight and claw and nobody's perfect. And we're not going to just lie down and take your shit. Okay? It's not going to happen like that. And I'm not the only woman who feels this way. And we all need to stand up and we will. We're going to start rallying. We're going to start protesting. And we're going to say no more to this shit. No more. I can't handle this. I don't appreciate it. I don't like that you, you made this Riley girl run down a hallway afraid for her life because you bunch of activists were trying to kill her. And I heard the way that you were screaming at her, like trans rights are everybody's right. Like you guys were freaking out just because she said she didn't want to swim with another uh, a competitor who was way more beyond her in, in uh, strength and ability because that person who was born a man <laughs> like she just wants to swim with other women like and, and you wanted to kill her for it you want to like lynch her man 
I don't know. You guys have gone off the rails. You've gone off the deep end, and you're you're wrong. You're completely wrong. And now people are gonna get fed up. And now I'm I'm getting fed up with the whole movement. The the lesbian, gay, trans thing is just getting old. Um, and I have a trans daughter-in-law, and and even she thinks it's fucking bizarro that you guys are all doing this. Because you know what? She just wanted to be her her identity, and she is who she is. And I call her her, and I love her, and I believe she's a her. But you know what? I have no respect for somebody that's going to come at a woman in the hallway and punch her and say that you're a trans woman and, and you're really not a fistful of dollars with your punching her in the face. You, you, you hit a woman. You're still a man who hit a woman. And I, I don't care what you want to call it, domestic violence, whatever. To me, this is domestic terrorism. You're going for the women in our society now legally. And the cops that stood there and didn't do anything while people were getting hurt and nobody has been charged, these protesters haven't been charged for trying to ransom her off. Um, somebody needs to answer to this. And they will. And it's all coming. It's just like all the things that happen with the the jab uh if you if you didn't want to get it and you had reasons for it well guess what those reasons are coming out as true now aren't they it's a whole bunch of stuff like all these things are being proven to be true there is actual researches for this and and there there's people that are having children right now and they're saying let's not raise it with any sex you can say okay i'm gonna to, not gonna do like too much of gender stuff i'm not gonna do this do that but you cannot raise a kid to think they're not any gender. That's never been done before. What are you doing to their mental health? I think somebody might need to have a look at that. Like, and these are the kind of people, these activists that are being raised by other activist parents, um, like a lot of them, I find it really funny. They're gay, they have a couple of kids, but then they find out that they're gay. And so now they've got kids and they're gay. So they had the best of both worlds. You know, They got to be able to have procreation but now they're gay and then they want all the rights and then and then say if it's a man he wants to be a woman now you're you're still the man you're still a man and i'm telling you if you can pass to get into a ladies room nobody's probably going to bother you but you're in a dress and a beard you're not getting in and i don't want to see anybody's pecker in the in the girls women's bathroom mm -mm. those are little girls in there still you fuck with the little girls you're fucking with the mamas and the mamas will fuck you up and i'm one of the mamas and a grandmother so don't test us. We've had enough. Women, unite all over the world. We gotta fight for our rights. And we should not have to fight men for a women's sport trophy. Okay? Okay. Just saying. Bye guys. Don't hate me. You're gonna but oh well. <laughs> well, hello lovies. Look, it's my new microphone. <laughs> Look, it's my first Timu haul. Have you ever had a Timu haul? Let me know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody's seen Timu. Anywho, okay, stop looking at the microphone. Look at the goddamn people out here. All right, guys, that's my first one. I'm in my room. I have scissors. <laughs> You'd think I would think these things beforehand, but hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 oh. suspicious. It's sus. Sussy, sus, sus. Right there. Mm. All right. Okay, let's see what we got going on. I forgot what I freaking ordered. <laughs> I'm sure if I had a brain in my head, <laughs> I'd be able to. <laughs> And we'll show you what I ordered right on the tablet here. Boy, that sounds like a lot of... Oh, come on. This was not supposed to be this. Not supposed to be finger thick. Yes, I burnt myself. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Me and hot glue, we got a relationship thing going on. It's kind of a domestic vibe. It's <laughs> No, this is from this is from the winter. Ow, ow, ow. And this is from <sighs> domestic violence. <sighs> eh. Anyways, joking. <laughs> okay, so this uh, last time I bought one, it was this thick, like two finger widths thick. Okay, so this would be like double this thick. 
So they kind of, <laughs> they got you. The devil is in the details with these guys. Okay, now what? <gasps> what did I order? I mean, it might be something embarrassing. No, it's my flash drive. Yay! I need this because I have no room left on my Apple iPad so I can do some stuff. Okay, so this is like very little. Oh, okay, this is the... I am just not... It's a good thing. <laughs> Good thing it's not something delicate, huh? Oh, look, I forgot I got that one. Yes. Look, it's so pretty. I can't wait to use it. Okay. So this is my USB flash drive, which also converts into my iPad thingy hole. Thingy my baba. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So uh, if I have to send it back, we're like, this box was damaged when I got it. No, I can't do that. I don't buy it. That's not a nice thing to do. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, time. Time once or twice. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. These these are great. I got these before. These are really good. Um, I got them cheaper this time too because I went on Amazon, I think, for the first pair, or worse, I went on Wish. <laughs> oh my God. If I had the money back that I spent on Wish, and they're like, it's free, just please shipping and handling, and I was such a dumbass. I was like, okay, that sounds like a really good deal. <laughs> no. Not a good deal. And it's always from Jing 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 Jing. I, that, there's a, a specific place it's from, usually always. Hmm, these ones look rubbery. Ooh. I know them. Because it hurt me. It's not evil. Okay, I know. Who's going to get excited about heel guards? Me. Because I have heels that hurt. <laughs> Just like I get cracks on my thumbs and like I get cracks everywhere. Like they look like. Uh, look horrible. I cannot even open this. I guess I can't remove it. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> oh no, these are different. They're similar. The ones that I got were a little beefier than this. Mm, these feel nice, but uh, they're going to be a little bit slidey. I can just tell. Because I like the ones that I got, they were a little beefier. Uh -huh. How else How else can I describe it to you? Beefy. Beefy. Beefy, beefy, beefy. And what did Bron want? <laughs> I wanted eyebrow hair razors. Because I got little razor hair. Little thing. And, and this is pretty cool. Uh -huh. Eyebrow razor. Remove. Removes the fine hairs of the eyebrow, neck, face, and hand. Thankfully, I do not have neck hair. But, huh, you can erase it, you can erase everything. Arm, hair, foot, foot hair? Oh Lord, if you got foot hair. Uh, la 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 lu, la 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 lu, la la lu, la 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 la. Easy to carry, does not scratch. Well, you better not scratch, you're a goddamn razor. I don't want no scratches. All right, so there's that. I know, I think it was like a, $22 haul here. I just was trying something. Oh Lord, here we go. <laughs> okay, so earlier, <laughs> if I had gone to my mailbox sooner, I might not have punctured my eardrum with my <laughs> Q-tip, but something was bugging me. And stupid me, I just, la la la. And I was like, oh no, ow, oh, oh, ow, that was a little bit too far. And I'm serious, like I'm 56 years old. And I'm this years old today when I found out that you can't stick it all the way in your ear unless you want to break your eardrum. So, I forgot I had ordered these knockoff Twiddler Twiddlers. Twiddler Twiddlers? There's Twiddlers. Twiddlers. You can get these. They wanted like 20 bucks. I think at first they wanted like 40 bucks online. But they were called Twiddlers. This is a knockoff and not a great one because the paint's coming off. Oh, that's great. I just hope this wasn't lead paint. <laughs> but it's like little teeny. Here, you can see, and oh, don't go looking at my nails. Holy Lord jeepers. Well, it's a good thing I got my nails that came in, in the mail too. My nails came in the mail. <laughs> I'm a cheap date. <laughs> I cannot believe the, the amount of money people pay for perfectly good shit you can do yourselves. Hey, I only ordered one. Timo. I mean, it's $1.89. I'll give some to my daughter then. But I didn't order two. I only ordered one. I just wanted to see what came. Oh, this is weird. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I like these. I forgot. 
This is on canvas? No, these are stickers, okay. Because they're supposed to be stickers, but you know what? These were supposed to be so much bigger. So much bigger, guys. Oh my God, I'm so disappointed, I gotta tell you. I had another time I bought from AliExpress. Believe it or not, they were bigger than this one was. This one's small. And I mean, I know it wasn't a lot of money, but no. Uh, and the one I got before had a back one. It had like, it was flipped over, so you had like two sides. This is only one side. So that's kind of a jip, I don't know. In my estimations, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Stop bugging me. Stop bugging me. I will do it. All right. <laughs> These things are fabulous. I got, uh, last time when I first moved in here, I got some of these. These are stove liners, but they're really cool. You can drop all kinds of crap all over them, and then you can wipe them off, and you can just keep reusing them, reusing them. I've ordered some more because I only had the small size before, and I don't know why, I just never thought to, hey, let's get on that, and let's order the right size for the, the rest of the stove. But I only use, like, two elements, so to be fair, mm, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna just check the Kimu bag. Hey, something else was supposed to be in here and it's not. Oh, you bastard. Oh, no. Oh, you, oh no. What the hell is that? These are... Oh. Really? <laughs> well, that's a lunch bag let down. These were supposed to be 3D stickers. You know, like those ones, okay, I have these fake nails, right? I was going to put the manicure on, and then I was going to put these 3D, 3D stickers, not sticker stickers. I could have freaking got these at the Dollar Tree, Jesus. I'm telling you, I don't like to get ripped off at all. All, all, all. Oh, there's me echoes. I am telling you. Come on, guys, what the fuck is this shit? The fuck? Come on. I'm showing you the other sentence. Like, they're pretty, but like... You can see maybe better. Oh, look. Uh, just look at the uh, the dog hair that is so delightfully uh, presenting on the arm. <laughs> look at this shit. Come on, guys. I could have went to the Dollar Tree and got stickers. These were supposed to be those really cute ones. They look like little bow ties and stuff. Like, I don't like it when they show you a picture and then they're like, meh, here, we're gonna just send you this shit. <laughs> it's too swindly for me. I cannot take this. I hate getting swindled. I don't know what to tell you. Mm, I hate it. Anyways, okay. I guess that was my uh, first Timu. Frigged me up the bum the hole. <laughs> Like, I got a couple things that were really great. True, true, true. I haven't tried the ear thing, I'm afraid. I don't want to touch this one. Oh, I am seriously did something to it earlier. That was really dumbass. But people out there, don't do that. Please don't be a dumbass. Please, please, please do not do the dumbass or things that you see these old ladies doing. And um, don't shave your face. And that's all I'm going to say about these things because I, I know somebody that was online and they shaved so much of their face hair and I'm, I'm worried for them. They're going to grow a beard in a couple of years. They're going to feel bad. And I did my like, I call it my dove hair. It's very, very soft, ugh. but it gets a little bit, uh, a little whitey on the old mutton chops, <laughs> on the old mutton chops. <laughs> But yeah, so, so yeah, so I did that and now even I'm feeling like, uh, I think I need a shave. <laughs> remember those commercials? <laughs> oh, I remember this one. It got stuck in my head. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Lovely lady. Who's that lady? <laughs> I can't remember which one that's for. And then there was, um... Uh, we wear short shorts. Na 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 na. I love that one too. And then there was, um, um, I can bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan, and never ever let you forget you're a man. Cause I'm a, a woman with all Julie. I think it was that. And then it was Charlie. They used the same one. 
two different perfumes used similar. I think I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm right and I'm wrong. So I'm wrong. That's that's my new word of the day. Wrong. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I love being on here and I haven't done anything great, but I have done a little bit of refurbishing here. I'll just kind of, okay, so I wanted to make it look here on the wall. Okay, so here on the wall, okay, because I'm so far away from where the camera is here. Um, I wanted to make it look like driftwood, but I really like the way the, the wood wood looks. So I'm going to keep some of these bars of, of wood. And it's all of it's that peel and stick stuff, which is great. Because if I ever have to go, I won't damage my walls, which is one really cool thing I like about these. I really love that part about the stickers. But, but be warned, it depends on the wall, and I will show you why. Because you will get some. So if you want to remove it, you're gonna have to get your glue stick out. And I'm gonna just probably use this for something else because I don't think I'm gonna just be wanting to be bothered with pasting it down there and everything again but i've got a couple more and i'll use this for something else i hate to waste anything and like um i think we have like uh, what was it 73 killer whales in the wild uh 4, tigers i gotta stop watching some all night tv shit because it's i just ball it's like oh my god what's happening to the tigers <laughs> oh my god the deep the deep sea turtles no Oh no! But yeah, but but yeah, like uh, no wonder where what's her name and what's her face was like. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Now I get it. How fucking dare you? Is right. You know what? She's right. Cause guess what? These motherfuckers. Okay. So they took they took <laughs> they took Tesla's money. They took everything he every invention that he had. They're like, mm -hmm, it's mine. J.P. Morgan. I own it now. Mm mm mm. Man. <laughs> which is fucking bullshit. Just, just much like how like we, we did that as white people to the Indians and see, that's the wrong word too. I'm sorry, but to the native indigenous people in our country, we did that to them too, apparently. Not me, not my family, I'm sorry, but it really wasn't, I, we didn't, we came over on like, not the Mayflower, but someplace similar. And we're from Glasgow, Scotland and England and didn't have nothing to do with none of it. I thank you very much. I wouldn't have that. Uh, but in any case, oh shit, I hate it when I forget my train of thoughts. Probably doesn't get old. But that happens a lot to me. Uh, anyways, yeah. Um, <laughs> shit. I don't know, maybe I'll remember for the next movie. <laughs> or the next movie, my next movie. I'm gonna be a star, I tell ya. But yeah, um, shit. Okay, sorry guys. I'm, I'm gonna probably just edit this out because I just look like I have Alzheimer's. <laughs> well, that's not funny either, is it? <laughs> Nothing's funny. Mm. You know what? That's true. I, I was just going to say nothing's funny. And whatever you know, it's really true because you cannot laugh at anything because you might get canceled. You know what? Fuck getting canceled. Fuck you. Fuck getting canceled. And you fuck talker. My talker Carlson. Who do you think you are to take him off the news? Motherfucker. I don't know why you guys think that you should just screw around with stuff like this. And Matt Walsh, fuck even Brett Cooper, and then there's like all these people, anybody that speaks up and says anything about the narrative that's different, um, has a different you know perspective than the, the one that everybody wants to make you believe. Sorry, I'm just picking my stuff up that I dropped. Nothing. And Everybody just wants you to believe what they want you to believe, but you know what? I just want people to think about our land. Think of, that's what I was remem remembering. Our land, we, we've, we've had like companies take and, and rip off all of our natural resources. We had Brian fucking Chisel Chin Mulrooney in the 80s took all of our, our water um, and like sold it off in shares to other people around the world. Apparently, which is, sorry, this thing in the way. Apparently, too, all like, like they they take all the money, they take all the the gas from the, the oil, the gas, everything. They rape the land, they suck every last fucking morsel they can get out of it. Squeeze, 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 right? And now they're like, oh, oh, we made all the money we can, so now you're gonna have to do rolling brownouts. 
Because you're fucking consumers, 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 consumers. You're colonist consumer bitches. And you're white and you're a woman. You should just pull the fucking turret in now, bitch, because you're over. We're going to cancel your house. Okay, just me? I'm serious. I'm like worried about the world. Fucking worried. But yeah, so they take all the natural resources. I'm just doing something here. So we can have a little puff in a, in a moment outside. I have to walk me loon again. She's not feeling so good. Anywho. Um, yeah, so in any case, we took all the natural resources. They took all the money they could get out of it. And then they want, and then they want to charge us like how much for gas now? Like you people are getting sucked through the river with the, the gas prices. It's just awful, and it's wrong, and and they know that they did this. And then they they insider trade like fuck fucking fish in a goddamn pen. And then they're like, oh, but you can't do it. Ooh, ooh, no. Oh, it's white collar crime. We can do it, but you can't do it. You can't make money knowing damn well that what's his face? Huh. What's his name? Um, Bill Gates bought up all the farmland. Who's going to have all the soil and all the farmland and all the seeds and all the water? Uh, and who's going to clean the fucking ocean from all the goddamn oil rigs you guys have tanked into the ocean and just left there for all the, the natural things to just die off? And that was a great idea, putting those tires in the ocean. Fucking A. Oy. I'm serious, guys. What, what the frick is going on? we got to keep our world... Beautiful. I remember when you could jump in a lake. Remember? Remember when you could jump in a lake, you guys? Get on your floater, your air mattress, and just lay on the lake. It wasn't dirty. It wasn't polluted. It was, it was just water. It was nice. It was decent. And everybody's taking so much out of our earth, and they're not replacing it with anything. And then they're turning around now, and they're, they're going to act like, oh, well, we need to tax the shit out of you because of climate change. We started the climate change, but you're going to pay for it. That's pretty much what they really want to say. And that kind of stinks. Just me? I don't know. I'm just saying. Anyways, guys, I love you. I really do. Anybody that looks at my video, I appreciate your time. You came and looked and saw. You don't have to stay. Just look and see. And if you like it, leave a comment. Oh, my God, that so makes my day. When I get a comment, I'm serious, it makes my day. So if you want to talk to me, please feel free to leave me a comment. I do lots of different things. I will update you on the status of my wall. And these are, like I said, this is not real wood. This is just those stickers. And I love to do DIYs. But guys, please, if you could subscribe and like, maybe they'll actually put me out with the other channels one of these days. I'll get out with the big dogs. <laughs> and don't forget to support your, your local talent, people that are now moving to Rumble because uh, TikTok might be dying. Ooh, don't die. They love me at TikTok. I think they love me. But maybe, it's just me. My daughter has like, I think it's 27 million. I'm not even joking. She's got an art channel and I'm like, you go girl. She's so smart and sweet and oh, she's been through so much. Her dad just died. I know I shouldn't be telling you world, but it's her dad just died. So I love her and I am worried about her. So I'm gonna have to go and surprise her and give her hug, hug a muggas. And maybe I'll give her some, <laughs> some nail stickers. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Anyways, bye guys. Talk to you later. Have a lovely night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye.